What's up guys? Welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee, and I've got a 1964 convertible Corvette sitting here. This one's got the 327 under the hood with a four-speed transmission. As you can see, no power steering or power brakes. I like taking these cars down the road and pointing out flaws so you know what you're getting before you get here. There is also detailed pictures and financing on maplemotors.com. I just need you to go there and check it out so you can see all these beautiful cars that we list week by week. Guys, this should be a fun video. And if you want to make it to where I could keep doing it, which would be awesome, hit that subscribe button. It's free. It'll notify you anytime that I post any of these videos too, as long as you allow it to. All right, guys. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. And before we take off, we'll check everything out. As you can see, it's got 46,000 miles. Gauges are nice and pretty all across the dash, and we'll be checking them out. Let's go ahead and start it up, because I haven't given it enough time to warm up. Shake your shifter, turn that key. She's gonna be sitting here warming up as we're talking about. Full pressure gauges up. I'll check, make sure it's still floating. It's not moving too good. Uh, clock, sometimes you can. But today, it's not gonna work. Radio. trying to cut it on it's not cutting on got some speakers back here doesn't help when the radio don't cut on got some rips in the seat see around the edges could be better go ahead turn signals left side is blinking right side is blinking wipers they do work all right headlights I got one side popping up Sometimes you can rev it up and get it to pop up, but it only looks like one side is flipping up out there. We'll also go over that throughout the video. Looks like the engine temperature is creeping up on this one now. So what about the horn? Did you place your bets? Nope. Nope. Nothing I'm doing is making it on. On this side, hood release and the brake. See if the parking brake's doing anything. It does feel like it's under pressure there, so it should be working. All right, let's hit the road. Yeah, it runs and drives. All right. Man, it's hot out here. I say that every video, but that's why I'm sweating. I wanted to let you know. It is. <laughs> it's just Tennessee as well. It just seems to happen. Um, we're getting ready to take off. Engine temperature is finally at 180. I like to get her up to temp before I take off. This is the first time I've driven this. What? I say that every video, but I remember driving this when we first got it in for a brief period, but this is going to be the longest I've ever driven this. How about that? There's some brakes there. Tack is not coming up on the dash. It's not. These gauges look like they have been replaced, but not coming up on the dash there. The lenses just look so clean. I think they've changed them out. I'm going to wait on this 4th of July traffic here. the road the steering's not bad a little bit of a slight trip to the right there we're gonna go ahead and get in these brakes you see the brakes feel good they're stopping just fine you got 
about that much slack in the steering with no power steering on it that is generally what i see as a common deal here and it's shifting out just great Shifting like a dream. This is fun. We're gonna pull up in this parking lot here, get some outside shots, and then after that, undercarriage. I'm gonna end with picking out the flaws. Let's get out in the sunshine. Why not? A little windy out here. It feels great, especially now that we got moving. Okay. Leave her running for this portion here. I'll be right back. Watching my gauges, our engine temperature gauge seems faulty. It it's like sticking and bouncing like back and forth and stuff, but it's showing like 210, 220 right now. And we've been out here sweating, it is hot. I mean it's just like doing this weird motion. The car's not acting funny at all. I've got this little tool that you shine down on the motor to check, make sure it's not overheating, and of course the tool is reading right around 200. So the gauge is faulty on this one. It is reading high. Like right now, it just bounced really hard back to 180 and then back up to 200. I don't know. Finicky gauge there. Wool pressure sitting at 40 still. But it has not moved. I can literally put it in neutral and that oil pressure gauge is not moved. I think that is also faulty. It could be reading right, but they like to move a little. I mean, I can't get the uh, oil pressure gauge to move at all. So, with that being said.
this car here feels really good it's really fun to drive easy to shift put your hands up catch some wind that's all i can say this thing is cruising of course i like to say if you do come down here and drive it you're going to take off with it only on the ones that i really enjoy <laughs> You know, I do so many test drives throughout the week. I get to pick and choose my favorite. This thing is a beauty. This one's got a nice little bump in the middle of the road up here. fairly smooth not bad yeah this car I don't know it's 64 63 vets that convertibles my dad which works here now used to pick me up as a kid from school in them and I remember leaving out the parking lot and him hitting a little second gear let's see if it'll do it just that fool there I didn't get it to church of course I didn't rail in it either I got on it though but that was the last little strip here we're gonna go ahead to picking out the flaws and I think I'm gonna do it in the shade because it's hot and this is a nice little shade spot right here I hope you enjoyed the test drive as much as I did I'll be back I told you we have shipping. There's a whole truck right there picking up another car from us. You can check that out on our website and see uh, what it may cost to ship it to your front door. As we're sitting over here, we're going to pick out the flaws. I'm going to get up close and personal on this ride. Anything I see, you'll know about it. Detailed pictures are also on the website from a different person. So you get two perspectives. You got some chips right here. Chips there. And I'm zooming way in, so if it makes you nauseous, I'm sorry. But a lot of this stuff won't pop up. You may see other channels backing up about right here and be like, look how beautiful that is. Until you zoom in, you don't see all these little specks and stuff in the paint. That's why I get so close. Little scuff there, see how that scuff just disappears back here? Exactly, I'm not going to hide it from you. little spot here. You got some light scratches over here. I did pick up some dirt. I'm like on the ground here. <laughs> this car is low. There's some more white specks. That's probably going to be wax. I don't want to rub on this paint too much because black will show scratches if you start trying to rub all that stuff off. Got a little bit there too. That one is coming off. I had to. It looked a little thick. I just wanted to see if it was wax. It is. A little spot there, crack. You got a lot of little scratches on this headlight here. I don't know if they're popping up. They'll buff out, but they are on there. Crack there. cracks around the seal on your vent window pitting on your trim there spot here touch up marks in the back here a hazy line going around the back from where the top was sitting and we're going to go over the top here in just a minute 
I actually need to take a picture of this car before I put the top up. So we'll probably cut the video for a second while I take that picture. Or hey, y'all want to take a picture with me? <laughs> See the thumbnail. A little wax on the edges there. Back of this car has got light scratches on it. They should buff out. Not all of them, but those up there, little hazy marks will. That's a tight gas cap. Dimples there. Light scratches. Got a bumper. This side's looking pretty clean. Light scuff there. Light scratch coming up. Little chips there on that edge. Look how they disappear in the camera. You literally have to make the camera focus. Boom, gone. It looks pretty close too. I'm telling you. Don't be fooled. Spot there. White specks. Just making sure it wasn't dust. A little bit of pitting on your handle. Spots popping up there. This stuff is just really small. I mean, you got to be really picky, but I also don't want you to get it and not expect it. So that line across the back there. From the top. Of course, if, as you drive with the top up, it's going to cause a little rubbish there, especially on black paint. Pitting. The top usually sits up here and causes a little bit, too. Most of that looks good, though. Got a little mark there. I don't know what's going on here. Looks like a wrinkle. It'll pop up. Paint's got some good shine to it, I can tell you that. Little scuffs on top here. Tiny little spot in the corner. Okay. Alright guys. I'll pull my phone up here and take a picture before I put this top up lay the hood down I'm not gonna shut it all the way I'm just gonna leave it popped it go ahead and get the photo done thumbnail whatnot that's good enough all right and now we're gonna check out the interior up your door panel a little hazy there Different color from sun, find it out, older carpet on the edge. Got some squares cut out there that they cut, put the speakers in. And then of course to open this, there's a handle up under here. Let's see if I can get it to pop up, boom. And you'll pull that, wow, that thing took off. It's opening very well. Passenger seat's got some issues too. Or it's not perfect. Across your dash. Now, hold on.
This top leaks. There's a hole there. That's how I know it leaks. <laughs> back here really let's look at the other side of it fabric kind of hanging there Side of it looks decent. I'm just showing you how it comes back down. I might end up putting this back in the showroom. I was thinking about leaving it out front if it wasn't going to rain, but I'll see what happens. Could have probably waited to get that picture. <laughs> oh, Harper pulled up on me. He said, I want to see this car. Yee! <laughs> He's got one of my old band shirts on. Okay. Where were we at? We put the top down. Look around in here. Oh, sprung up. Got the old shoot handle. <laughs> Hang on here. Oh, left some money in the ashtray. Under the dash. A little bit of wire in there. Looks like something disconnected. This little piece fell off on me. It glued back, but the tip, I can't even get it off now. Huh, wants to put it back on good. Weather stripping's kind of slid out there. Okay. Engine temperature. Let's see if it. It's still sitting right there. I just don't believe that gauge. I swear the gauge is moving right now. What? There's no way. Because we've been sitting here this whole time and it just went up more. There's no way. Gauge is messed up. All right. Uh. Give it a little gas. This one here. Old pressure gauge is not moving at all either. I did notice this one floods out when you cut it off, so you do have to put the gas pedal to the floor and get her started. Maybe the needle sticking or something. Oh man, she sounds good and she's been running good, so it's just when you cut her off. Of course, dropping the hood here is pretty easy on these. Get it about yay high. Shuts on both sides. Little white chip there. Little spot in the corner here. Ding right here.
I sure hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit subscribe. I try to point out all the flaws so you know what you're getting before you get here. Detail pictures, finance, and shipping, maplemotors.com. And I'll see you in the next video. Later, guys.